Yo, what's going on guys today? I have a little bit of a different video for you guys, a little bit of a special video. Again, I'm making these videos because I'm not at home right now. I'm actually on holiday by the time you're seeing this video. They're going to be automatically uploaded. But the, the interesting video I have for you guys today is goes about this box. This box of gaming peripherals I paid 200 Rand for. Uh, so that equates to about roughly $15, give or take $15. And with that, you get a mouse, a headset with mic, a keyboard, and a mouse pad for 200 Rand. And what we're going to be checking today is how bad is this really? Taking into consideration, my Kuga mouse pad is 250 Rand. My mouse pad that I use costs more than this whole box. So we are going to look at how bad or good is this box really. And I'm going to let you guys know what it's like playing on the cheapest possible peripherals I have ever seen in my life. So let's get into the video guys. Alright, so here we're looking at the box. This is what we all get in the box. There's the specifications of everything. You can pause if you want to read that. But here's, here's, the important, here's the important notes. What's inside the box? So what's inside the box is a backlit gaming keyboard, a backlit optical mouse, stereo headset with mic, and a mouse pad. Now let's read the, the interesting parts here. Advanced anti-ghosting game confidently with 19 key rollover support for enhanced command readings. Okay. Uh, the keyboard is waterproof, designed to quickly drain the liquids in case of accidental spillage. It's a streamlined mouse shape, accommodates various grip styles. On the fly quick, quick four step DBI, DPI selection button. Big sound, closed, over ear headsets designed for powerful bass. Let's keep that in mind. Optimized tracking accuracy for both laser and optical sensors. So the mouse pad is supposed to be pretty good. Uh, Multicolor backlighting, see-through character lighting. That sounds pretty interesting. So I'm super interested to see how a 200 Rand combo box set like this actually compares to a proper mechanical keyboard that's brushed aluminium, Cherry MX switches, independent RGB lighting that you can set every single key to your own color, to what you want, to what game you're playing. Um, I really want to know how it compares. Same with the mouse. I want to know how this cheap thing compares to a 2000 Rand keyboard, a thousand Rand mouse. Um, a thousand rand headset, a one and a half thousand rand mic. So if you put all of my peripherals together, they all equal over four and a half thousand rand. So everything that I have for that amount of money should be in this box for only 200 rand. Okay, so let's get into the box. I have cut one side open to make this a little bit easier and quicker. I think I actually cut the wrong side open, I cut the other side open, but I don't think it really matters that much. I just broke the box. Okay. Anyway. Let's see what it looks like. Okay. Alright. So there's the keyboard. Wow. Wow. That is... That is really light. That is stupid light. I think my mouse weighs more than this keyboard. Like, I can't believe how light this is. Like, I feel like I'm holding a piece of cardboard. But anyway, let's open it, let's open it. Don't judge a, a book by its weight, I do believe that's the same. Because you know, final air mouse ninja thing, the lighter the better, right? So, you know. You know what? It's not bad at first looks. It's not bad. That's the keyboard, guys. That is the keyboard. I don't know if it's focusing. I hope it is. You know what? That's not bad. That's not bad. I like that. It's got like little custom arrow keys. That's pretty cool. Thingy. Alright. Let's carry on. Let's carry on. 
The mouse. There's the mouse. Focus. I think that there's the focus point. Okay. So there's the mouse. Nothing fancy. Immediately you can't see no side buttons. There are new side buttons. Okay. Carrying on, carrying on. The headset. Look at those beauties. Now guys, keeping in mind, if you take the average price of everything, of this, and this, and this, okay? If you take the average price of all of these things, it equates to like, there's the thumbnail right there. Um, it equates to 50 Rand a piece. $3 a piece. $3 mouse. $3 headset, $3 keyboard, $3 mouse pad. Okay, 50 Rand a piece. Now, this headset is pretty long. It's got, oh, hold on, Mike, look at that. It's got a little volume control on it. And it's the two piece. This cable's like super long. And it's the, uh, like that, look at that. It's even got like little fancy little covers on there. Not too shabby. All right, and then the last thing is the mouse pad. So now why am I making this video? There's the mouse pad. You know what, it's not terrible. I'm not gonna lie, it's not terrible. Very thin, but you know what, if you don't have one, I think it's better than not having one. Why am I making this video? <clears throat> I'm making this video because a lot of times, People ask me what keyboard and mouse they use, which is the Kuga Attack X3 Speedy and the Minos X5 from Kuga as well. Um, these peripherals, I don't know why it's near me if I'm not looking at the camera. These peripherals are expensive, but they are premium grade things. That mouse has one of the best sensors in the world, it's got 2000 Hz, it's got a premium sensor, which means it sends. A signal to the computer 2,000 times a second. Um, this one, this one, yeah, it doesn't do that. This is customable, customizable DPI settings, customizable RGB, side buttons, a proper guarantee, like it's gonna last. This is a metal keyboard with uh, Cherry MX switches, customizable backlight things, like you name it. This, this isn't. This, I can't even like, I probably can pick this keyboard up with one hand, but it's super heavy. This, this is like, I don't, under, like, I don't think you guys can like understand how light this keyboard is. It's so light. Okay, but now, again, why am I making this video? I'm making this video because I can't believe how cheap this whole set is. Like, you can't even find a keyboard for a hundred bucks, let alone a whole set for 200 rand. And now, a lot of people say like, Don, what keyboard and mouse do you use? I say, no, I use this stuff. But they're like, that's so expensive. Yes, because it's enthusiast grade stuff. It's high quality, premium products. It's the difference between like a Toyota Taz and a Ferrari. You know, you get what you pay for, obviously. But at the end of the day, they do the same thing. They just, one does it a lot better than the other. Now, we, I'm gonna test this out. I'm not gonna do anything before I. Well, that's pretty interesting. Look, I just noticed like these these things are colored differently. Like some of them are white, and then it goes like black, and then white, and then like half faded, and like I don't know what the situation is there. But anyway, um, I want to see how it is, and then I'm gonna tell you why. The final reason why I'm making this keyboard. Like the more I'm playing with this, like look at that. Yeah, you'll never do that with the Google keyboard. Well, it, well, not the one I have. That's, that's, I'm not even like, I don't want to break it before I use it. Like that's not even a lot of force and it's busy bending. Okay, but let's use it. I'm going to put all of my Kuga stuff away. And then we are going to try only playing with this equipment that I have. Okay, so I've got everything set up. I've got the keyboard and mouse set up on its own little mouse pad. 
It does have backlighting, but that's it. You can't change the brightness, you can't change, like you can't have uh, effects going. It's got three different LED spots and it, there's three settings. That's it, that's all it has. Better than nothing. Uh, you can't really see through the caps. I'll turn the lights off to give it the best benefit of the doubt if you can actually see through the, the keys, but during the day, not a chance. I can't, it's not shining through the keys at all. But anyway, the headset's on. We're gonna try it out. The mouse, the mouse changes color. Okay, the mouse changes color by itself. That's pretty, that's pretty nifty. All right, and so I have Fortnite open. We are gonna hop into a game. Oh yes. Okay, so we're gonna hop into a game now. Um, of Fortnite. The first thing that I do notice, the headsets are super soft and not very comfortable, but I might get used to them. We'll see what happens. The other thing is I did find the backlight key, so you can actually change the brightness. Um, that's full brightness, and then you can actually make it go less bright. So it has that. That's pretty cool. Um, the big... Oh, it's got a pop-out feet. Alright. Okay. Um... My biggest problem, I use uh, side buttons to build on my mouse. That for me is a crucial factor. So I'm gonna have to rebind some keys so I can actually play. Okay, let's hop into, after changing my key bind so I can try and build without my mouse, let's hop into a game and see if I can actually win a game playing on a $15 peripheral setup. I don't know if you can see this, but I'm actually like hovering the mouse like, I don't know, like, is there a way I can do this? Like, I'm not even touching my... Okay. That's gonna suck. That's also terrible. Like, that's me pushing the mouse down, and that's it skipping. Yeah, the mouse isn't moving. It's supposed to be doing that. So, let's see, if I keep doing that... The, eventually it just gives up so slow it works and then eventually it just gives up it like doesn't even bother trying to track but okay let's let's try and get a game and get over this lift off distance like you have to <laughs> okay I can't I can't I can't move <laughs> I have to like, oh, okay, this is, I know you guys don't have any game audio, but um, yeah, that's just, alright, I see somebody, I'll see him, I'm gonna take our first fight bros. <laughs> Easy. Easy. Just like that, bros. Just like that. Can you hear someone? I hear him. Where you at? Over here. Oh my gosh, I can't hear where he is. Easy. Look at that, bros. Look at that. Okay, um, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it that, I'm not gonna waste your time. It doesn't, like, this, this, this isn't good. It, it's not good. The keyboard, I'm not too fussy when it comes to keyboard. The keyboard's okay, it's really not bad. The, I'm not even gonna bother trying to test the mic. You can just imagine it's gonna sound pretty, pretty cheap. Um, but... Let's talk. Let's talk about why did I make this video? Why the heck did I buy this? I bought it to show you guys that it's not that expensive to get into 
computer gaming. And even if you want to buy a keyboard and mouse for your console, because I remember like PlayStation and Xbox has full support for keyboard and mouse now. And I mean, yeah, you get a headset and a mouse pad for 200 Rand if you find the right deal, if you get it for the same deal I did. It's really not bad. Is it? Is it terrible? Yes, it's absolutely horrendous. Like this mouse is, that's the first thing I would change. This mouse is absolutely horrendous. I can show you what the Cougar mouse does in one sec. Okay, I got, I got the Cougar mouse plugged in. This is the Cougar mouse, the Minus X5. And this is the difference, okay? Exactly the same, I'm use, even using their mouse pad. No matter how fast you move it, it, it doesn't skip. You can't go faster than what this sensor can't handle. The cheap mouse, like that, that's not even, that's not even fast. That's like me playing the game. You have to go so slowly. Again, the Cougar mouse, it doesn't matter how fast you go, it, it works. That is what you're paying for. That is why it's expensive. Would I recommend you buying this set? Yes, I would. I would definitely recommend you buying this set. You're getting a headset, a keyboard, a mouse, and a mouse pad for 200 Rand. You can't beat that. You can't. But would I recommend you sticking with it? Definitely not. It's terrible. Go buy yourself a decent mouse. That's the first thing I would change the decent mouse and change the headset. Then get a new keyboard and it. this is a perfect starter kit. If you have nothing, buy this. It's 200 Rand on the greatest spectrum of things. It's not going to break the bank. It's 200 Rand. Buy it. It's, it's good for what it's worth. But is it going to make me put my keyboard peripherals in the cupboard? Not in a million years. This is a nice Rage keyboard, like if you want to have like a fake Rage stream and bash your keyboard in because it costs 50 Rand. But that, that's what I've got to say guys, it is what it is, um, I paid 200 Rand for it, it's worth it. But when you get it, you use it and then you see what a cheap mouse does, and then you see what an expensive mouse does, and that's it guys, and it's, it's like that for everything, it's like that for the keyboard, the headset, the mic, you pay for what you get. And that's it guys, so there's a lot of companies that actually make these combo sets, so this one specifically is called the Scorpion CM370. Red Dragon makes a combo set, Corsair makes a combo set, Game Midas makes a combo set. If you guys want me to maybe get all four of them, and we put them against each other because they're all four priced differently. We put them all against each other. Please let me know so I can like say which one is the best value for money for you to purchase if you're looking for a combo set. That's what I've got to say guys. I hope you have a fantastic day further. If you did enjoy this video, please remember to leave a like on, like on it. It will really help me out a lot and get subscribed if you want to see more videos like this in the future. I hope you guys have a fantastic one further. So the next one. So here's the last little update here is the uh, keyboard with the lights off and the different color modes. That, that's about all you get. So it does have a few different modes. You can do a breathing mode or it can stay on. And you get those colors.